Okay, guys, I'm back again. Thought y'all got rid of me, didn't you? <laughs> uh, I'm here to talk about tools and tool reviews. And I had an email from a good friend of mine. Uh, he was uh, asking me about tool reviews and whatnot. Said he run across my channel and uh, he wanted to know why I didn't ever do a tool review. I'm like, well, I don't know. Never thought about it. So. You know, I told him that I did a toolbox tour and it got like uh, maybe one view. Wasn't that interesting. Actually, I about fell asleep watching it. It's, it's just tools. It, it, it's not in, that impressive. Uh, however, uh, I listened to him and decided to look at tool reviews on YouTube. And man, there's a lot of a lot of bull crap on YouTube about tools and most of its opinions. Uh, everybody has an opinion. Those opinions are, uh, well, some of them are factually based. Some of them are, uh, you got to consider the, the source, basically. Uh, some of these guys that are talking about, I bought these tools at Harbor Freight and they've lasted me 20 years and I've never broken any of the tools. I'm say bullshit. There, there's just no way. Uh, actually, there is a way. You're not using them. You're not. You're not putting them through a a work everyday type deal. You're playing on the weekends at somebody's yard working on their lawnmower. You're not using them. That's just all there is to it. Bull crap. Uh, I broke every name brand tool there is to man at some point in time. Uh, anybody that's ever watched my tool review realizes that I have a Matco box. I have a 6S. It's a big box. It is slap full of mostly snap-on tools. Why did I buy snap-on tools? Because, well, they're the best tools. Uh, they feel better. They work better. I have less problems. They're convenient. If I break one, they're taken care of. I, I don't have any problems with them. Uh, have I broken? Yes. I have broken pretty much everything, every kind of socket that you can think of, torch bits all the time, uh, screwdrivers. I think I broke a couple pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, I don't think I've ever broke a snap on wrench. Uh, and that, I also don't abuse my tools either. Uh, I've seen guys take wrenches and double them up and then put big old pry bars on them and cheater pipes and I just don't do that. I, don't, I buy enough tools that if this wrench won't do it, I'll use an impact. If that impact won't do it, I'll use a half inch ratchet and socket. If that don't do it, I'll get a three quarter out. I just don't abuse my stuff. Uh, that's also the reason I buy so many tools. Uh, and I usually have duplicates and triplicates of pretty much everything and I watched a, a YouTube video and a, a guy was talking about you didn't need all these sockets and you don't need this size and you don't need these 12 point and all you need is basically a quarter inch drive set from 4 millimeter to 14 millimeter and then 3 eighths you know BS that, that's not true if you're gonna do this for a living and you're going to make a serious living, you know, professionally, you need tools. There's 12-point fasteners out there. You need 12-point sockets. There's places where you'll need 6-point. You'll need semi-deep. You'll need deep. You need shallow. Uh, use impact sockets on impacts. Do you need chrome sockets? Uh, maybe not. Uh, can't I can't honestly say you have to have chrome sockets but I have both and I use both all the time uh, you know it's all personal opinion now everybody said well, what makes you any different than the rest of these wonderful people on YouTube well let me start by saying that I do have a lot of experience I've done this for 30 years uh, I've had 20 years plus in dealerships I've owned my own business for 10 years I uh, I have turned a lot of wrenches, and I know what I'm talking about, and 
I've made a lot of hours and a lot of money turning wrenches. So when someone says, oh, you don't need that, bull crap. Uh, now, I said I would do a couple tool reviews. The difference between my tool reviews and a lot of other people's tool reviews, first of all, is the tools that I review is stuff that I've had or stuff that I bought recently but had others of just like it or similar and I'll show you why I bought it and what made it different than what I already had. Uh, the stuff that I bought with my own money, I'm not having people send me stuff to review that just didn't worth the time of day. Uh, now if I upset people on YouTube, I've got nothing to lose, I don't care. Uh, I've, had, I've been hated by butter, I promise you. Uh, I've seen some YouTube people that, if nothing else, is very entertaining. Uh, I just watched a video from a guy called the uh, Flat Rate Master. I can relate to this guy. He knows what he's talking about, and, you know, I, I see a lot of similarities with me and him. I, I get that. Uh, I watched a guy, Jay Young. We're not really similar. I like him. I think his videos are entertaining as heck. Uh, his tool reviews, I really didn't see tool reviews. I seen him talk about Snap-on and Maco and how they come by and how they're not coming by and how they lost it. Well, whatever. It, it, all, all I'm saying is they're entertaining and I'll, I'll continue to watch them. Why not? Uh, there's some other guys there that know what they're talking about, but there's a bunch of them here that, well, that, that I think that the deal is, if you see a, a, a young person on here giving you tool advice, you might want to take in consideration he hadn't had a lot of tools. He's just starting out, he's six months into it or whatever. I don't know if I'd want to take his advice. Just just saying. I don't mean anything bad about it. They may be great techs one day, but it takes a long time in this business to to get a real feel and, and know what's going to work and what's not going to work. You know, and yes, I've had cheap tools, and yes, I've even had some Harbor Freight tools. I've got a set of Harbor Freight sockets that I like better than most but I also don't use them every day either uh, in fact I, they're, they're specialty sockets and I only use a couple of them a couple of times ever I've had them two years will they hold up for what I use them for yes uh, are they professional grade sockets or even though it says professional or pro on it no they're 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 cheap sockets I bought them to get out of a jam so anyway uh, starting tomorrow I will do a tool review uh, I think the first one I'll do is on a uh, thermal imager I bought from Snap-on and I'm gonna hear some crap oh he buys all Snap-on that's not true uh, I'll do that review and I'll show you why I bought it and why I didn't go with something else and then after that we'll go to some other toys that I have in my diagnostic box. Uh, we'll start these off. If you if you like the series, great. Like them, share them. Uh, if you don't, give me a thumbs down. Say, hey, I don't like it. Tell me why you don't like it. Say, hey, this is junk because I don't like the way you say snap on it. I don't care. Just give me a reason. Maybe they'll get better. Maybe they'll won't. Appreciate it, guys.